Hi everybody, in this session we're going to look at content again but we're going to specifically look at the tap feature. So I just click my uh, media icon and I've got my tap feature selected. So that's unselected, selected, you can see with the green tick. So I'm just going to scroll down, find some content that I want to use. Okay, so I'm going to look in the retail pack. Is that interesting? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, it's not too bad, so we'll select that. Now you'll notice nothing's happened yet, but I've just select my triangle, do the same again, find some content that I want to um, use. Let me have a look in my music pack. Um, just looking down. Oh, this one's quite in. Yeah, no, nah, it's quite interesting. Let's have a look at that. Again, nothing's happened yet. Click my circle. And I'm going to look for some more content in here. Yep, that works for me. Okay, so I've selected my tap media but nothing's happened that's because i'm not in play mode yet so if we head over to play mode you'll see the tap feature in action so i'm now playing my projection map i'm using my particles to go across so that still works when i tap the quad you'll notice the media i clicked in my tap icon will play so when i release everything it plays the other media that we selected first when i tap the actual quad and the shape it plays different media Again, a really great addition when I'm doing some live visuals projection mapping off my iPad. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next session.